Hi Aquarius, it's Gwen. I'm here to do a timeless love reading for your sign. Yes, and I've been tuning into your energy for the last hour at least, just like lethargic. So if you need to rest, please do rest. Please do listen to your body. I don't know if that lethargicness is just because you've been through it. What I'm tuning into, what I'm tuning into love. So then I asked for a channel song. And I somehow, there's something with changing your music, changing your station, changing your vibration, Aquarius. Um, because I got in this loop of like looking at or listening to songs on my timeline that reminded me of past loves. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about yet, but we'll find out in this love, uh, this uh, love reading. I'm just like so up in my head. Aquarius. Oh, so then I asked for this channel song, right? And it was Mandy Moore, um, Only Hope. Okay. I not heard it before. So I went and listened to it and it was just like, um, so I lay my head down and I lift my hands up to pray. And when she sings that part of it, I just got chills all over me. So I just, um, I feel like you've been a, through a battle when it comes to love, but you still have hope. You still have faith. Um, but you're like surrendering, uh, a sense of surrender to giving it to your angels and trusting that, you know, what's meant for my heart is meant for my heart. Yeah. Justice just tried to pop out by the way. When I said that, fairness, karma, justice, yeah, mm -hmm. Libra energy that wanted to pop out there that might be in your chart. So, anyways, this is for Aquarius. It's general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm trying to teach everybody, too, in my tribe that you can build a relationship with your deck. This is my companion tarot. And ask specific questions. Like, right now, we're going to tune into the lover's card in the deck. I want to find that card after I'm done shuffling and see what cards are surrounding it and what the messages that come forth okay so you can do this too you know this may be you could ask about blocks in love you could ask about you know specific questions that you may have so this is general we'll see what wants, what story wants to come out i mean i've already gotten channel music and messages for you guys i just like i don't know this aquarius energy like i was feeling so lethargic and now i feel like i drank like fucking 10 cups of coffee, like bouncing off the walls. So you could be experiencing that, you know, from like an extreme in an extreme. Yeah. I just had a sound effect in the back. The, the water tank just went boop, 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 boop. Yeah. To confirm whatever I was just fucking saying, but like extremes in temperament or extremes in emotions, extremes in how your body feels, temple feels. Uh, yeah. So yeah. We'll see what comes out. <laughs> I love you guys. Remember, if you want your own private reading, uh, reach out to me. All my information is in the box below. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. If, if, if I know you on Facebook, I've been restricted for a few days just because I was talking about burning bras. But what the fuck, man? That's what I like. Fuck the bra. Anyways, just had to say that. I'll be back in a few days. Listen, Linda got banned because she was a bad girl. <laughs> Aquarius, I love you guys. I love you guys. All right, last time. That's what I heard was last time. And that's my intuition, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. I put my glasses on. Underlying energy is Page of Pentacles. Yes, I love that. That means manifestations. Even uh, material, it's anything a material gain, okay? You see that pentacle, though, is above the mountain, okay? This young magician here, this is a very young earth sign energy, um, is learning that they have very valuable tools on their tool belt already. See that? Okay. And that the pentacles in the sky, this is talking about your spiritual roots, like the abundance and um, how abundance mindset works, okay? Uh, knowing value, um, knowing what to invest your energy into, okay? Kind of energy. With the King of Swords, <laughs> there you are. 
in the power. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing that. Div heal divine masculine energy here. Not in the emotions. U utilizing wisdom and truth is my king of swords. Okay? And he's excellent at the art of compromise. Underlying energy is important. Okay? It says a lot. I see you taking a leap of faith here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's the queen of pentacles behind that. Hell yeah, because you've had a wake-up call. The judgment card's there. Woo! Okay, in a love situation. Okay, okay, okay. You've had a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. But I must go back to that, like, song again. They're directing me back to that song again because it's called Only Hope. And I said it was about not losing hope. But it is as if there is a person out there that is your only hope. That's the way it feels. It's just like everything is contingent upon that feeling kind of a thing. You're my only hope. Like it's like a, it's a suffering without this person. It's a struggle. It's That's how it felt when I listened to it. Anyways, it'll resonate for somebody out there. Not for everybody. For somebody. <laughs> I love that I'm... See, there's a... a Change the station is what spirit keeps saying, and it's because I have just instead of just doing 80s, what I love in music like channel music, like putting it on random and having spirit bring me through a message, you know, do that randomly while you're in the car. Like, spirit, the next song is for me. What does my heart need to hear? Like, do it. Like, why not? Spirit's communicating with you. You'd be blown out of the fucking water every goddamn time. I tell you what, I tell you what, my Aquarius is out there, know it. We're divine beings. We communicate this way. Where is the love? Okay. You've been waiting for it. It's patience, darlings. Yes. You're like, I won't fucking hear that. Yeah, because I'm going through the deck. I'm going through the deck. I'm looking for the lover's card. I swear it's in here. Where is it at? And I went the long way around. And I should have just started from the top. I don't know. I feel like there's a message, too. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 We will read cards farther out than just the one card surrounding it. But I want you to see where you're at. Where it falls in the deck is super important, too. You're right here at the precipice of a new beginning. Or it's right here. This is the brain. It's here. This love connection is right fucking here. Ready to fucking materialize, manifest, page of pentacles, energy. You know how to manifest. You know how to manipulate energy. You know your thoughts. You know your worth. You know you've been put, you've been, you, I am valuable is the page of pentacles. It's also a financial whiz kid. Just got to say it. Okay. Okay. And the lover's card is in the upright Aquarius, in the upright, okay? So I'm going to separate this so that I can read it farther out. Okay, but here's the lover's card. This is about a soulmate connection. Here it is. Unconditional love. Heal divine feminine masculine energy. If you're into the twin flame thing and you follow that, then that I would say it's coming out here in the upright. I don't know. I don't typically say that, but here I say it. So, you know, like who knows what I'm going to say when I'm channeling messages. Some things have been imbalanced in the past. Okay. You've been learning lessons about um, divine timing and flow and not controlling and manipulating things, especially on the masculine side over here. Okay, we've got the temperance card out. It does speak to Sagittarius energy as well. But, I mean, this witch is dressed in all of the alchemical symbols if you take a closer look at her. Okay, the gold and silver cup. The, right at the medallion at her chest, the triangle there on her shoe tips. She's got uh, the triangle sign as well. Signs for air, fire, water, you know, and the infinite, the infinity symbol. Okay. As above, so below, as within, so without, so the universe, so the soul. You've been learning valuable lessons. You've, it, but in the reverse, it's like you've been a bit impatient. We'll see what comes after that, okay? 
Yeah, because you've been needing to make a decision. You're like one foot in a world and another foot in another world. Two of wands. You got to make a choice from the heart here. Choices and love. Two ships outside that window. You've been stuck in indecision. Delays. Every delay was purposeful. Sometimes we actually have to make that decision. And I think that's what that surrender I was talking about earlier is about. I mean, we've I've already showed you the King of Swords, right? And now the Queen of Swords is coming out on this side over here. Okay? There you are again. Healed feminine. Okay. Wisdom and truth. The owl at her side. An omen of change. The white owl. The white owl. It's the fear of the white owl. Okay. She's learned the art of compromise as well. And she's a leader. It's not gender specific. It could be the feminine within you. She sits on the dragon throne. Okay. This shows me that you're rebuilding. You've been feeling completely left out in the cold with the five of pentacles in reverse and something, the foundations of another relationship or, I mean, you could be dealing with two people here when I have the two of wands. I did feel like a twin flame connection here. Um, but yeah, there's the, the five of pentacles icy cold situation, feeling left out in the cold. But I, when it's in the reverse here, it's like a situation is warming up. There was no growth with the Three of Pentacles in reverse in the past here. Things were stagnant. Things were cold. Things were really cold, especially with the Queen of Swords. She's not in her emotions. She could be really cold. <laughs> Things are cold over there in the past. Okay? And that was the top of the... I don't have any more cards to read for you there. That was the top. Yeah. Okay. I see there in the past, too, I even see financial constraints or some sort of loss with that three of pentacles and five of There's a lot of pentacles. It, you were learning, you've been learning lessons about your worth. You got to follow, you got to make a choice to follow your heart centered mind now. The white owl is about the divinity of your soul. It's an omen of change. And this could all be pertaining to the masculine in your uh, in a relationship as well okay and so over here on the feminine side what do we got i think that's why i made this face because it was like oh it's the dreaded seven of swords in the now present moment and going into the future we're going to read the cards so seven of swords is somebody is lying somebody is lying to themselves somebody is hiding and sneaking around and yeah i did say there are multiple people in here you know, like I, but that's, that's where we're at. Okay. On the feminine side over here. And what came next? But I also see there's a Leo energy involved here. Strength surrounding you. So the strength card is less, sometimes we're battling our own um, demons kind of a thing. I also feel like strength is also divine protection. The things that don't work out. What we think is a misdirection or a, st a stagnation or whatever is teaching us lessons of grace and compassion. And, you know, she's dressed in white divinity, purity. She's got a rose crown on about talking about higher vibrational love here of the self. I'm not going to lie to myself any longer. I'm not going to hide. A secret love. When this comes out together here, I would always read this together. It's a secret love affair. <laughs> okay. And so, you know, like I don't judge that at all because like everybody goes, everybody sets up these experiences these are like soul contracts, okay, lessons that we're learning, right? It's so like when you fall in love or when love flows into your life, and especially if it's a twin flame connection where you do heal a lot of a lot of things that are difficult to heal, okay? So, like, 
I don't judge. I don't judge. Like, seriously, like I know that uh, at a time where I was in a really horrible marriage and then I found somebody else and I wasn't completely divorced yet. You know what I'm saying? And so like it happens and we there's something about this timing and this impatience, you know, and we're, we're surrendering and we're allowing our guides to help us make the right choice here to use our wisdom, get out of our emotions. Right. Um, about rebuilding our foundations, our worth here in a love connection and not hiding something, being strong, powerful, okay, living your truth, the divinity of who you are here, the owl, her, and white, the white, okay, you've had an awakening, you've had a revelation, the four of swords in the reverse, it says, awake up, sleeping beauty, you've had your time to rest. Now is the time to integrate. Yeah, there's the two again. I tell you, twos. I was feeling twin flame energy way before all these twos started coming out. Choices and decisions of the heart. Trusting the intuition. You feel like you're stuck in two worlds. You don't know which choice to make, when to make the choice. You know, and you've got to utilize the birds in the sky symbolize logic and reason here. Okay? Wisdom that you've learned and gained in the past. Cycle of the moon there, the crescent moon being shown. She's blindfolded. She can't see the path ahead. She's got to trust her intuition. But she need, there needs there's to be a choice made here. Lots of choices. And that's there's choices in love when the lover's card comes out. So, um, yep. Nine of Wands. It's you standing your ground. Setting boundaries. Ancestor standing there right behind you. It's been a battle. The Nine of Wands tells me it's been a battle. This is like that wounded warrior card. So it's been a battle. But you're going to stand your ground and make a decision. You got a lot of emotions to process. I'm not going to go any further than this. <laughs> You'll know if this is your story. See, Five of Cups is kind of a prolonged depression, but I do see a lot of release here, okay? Five of Cups tends to be like continuing to focus on what is lost instead of the blessings that are truly all around you. There's a lot of pentacle energy here that came out as well, okay? There's two cups of golden wisdom here in the tree with clock about timing, okay? Allow, don't judge your emotions. Allow your emotions to, to surface. The next cup, the next one is seven of cups. So that's about illusion. Living in a fantasy, a facade, seven of cups. Overwhelmed by choices is seven of cups. So if you want me to tune into your energy, I feel like I got to go nap now. Like, okay, I feel like the weight of the damn world is on my back with this Aquarius. I call all my energy back to me. I cleanse myself. I put my divine sacred bubble around me again. Woo, I need to center after that reading. I love you. It's all going to work out. Let go. Let go. Let God. Let angels. No, don't put worry into the situation. Utilize some wisdom. You have all the tools on your tool belt. You magical alchemist. You are creating this love story. Okay? There's no need to hide. You are strong. Okay? You've had an awakening. You need to make a decision. Set proper boundaries. Process your emotions. Okay, lovies? I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.